And Duncan, fundamentals, you know, the basis on which everything else in the game and really in life have to be built. But you say that word and not much seems exciting about it unless you execute them exquisitely and relentlessly at an elite level. Tim Duncan came to basketball largely by chance. He was a great swimmer. He aspired to compete at the Olympic level. But once he turned to basketball, he maintained the discipline to get every stroke right every time, become the big fundamental and a Hall of Famer. Tom Rinaldi looks back. Substance over style. Excellence over attention. Team above self. Winning above all else. Remember the Alamo. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA world champions. He was the ultimate example of all-time greatness wrapped, and some might even say hidden, by humility. You take his greatness for granted because he does it on such a consistent basis. But to all true fans of the game, everything about him shouts Hall of Fame. Two-time league MVP, 15-time All-Star, three-time finals MVP, five-time champion. San Antonio is back on top once again. And all of it accomplished with such dignity, such class, without fanfare or flash. Duncan, a three-pointer, puts it up, it's good! A leader by example, a selfless teammate, a gentleman, and we may never see his like again. Yet another remarkable career, all of Tim Duncan's 19 seasons spent with San Antonio. You see all of the accolades, all of the championships. He, he's won everything you could possibly win and done it in spectacular fashion. Tim Duncan joins us now. And Tim, congratulations on being elected into the Hall of Fame. As I mentioned, you've won everything you could possibly win. So what is the significance of being elected to the Hall of Fame to you? Uh, the, the kind of the end of their journey here. Um, it was a, 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 an incredible career that uh, I enjoyed so much. Um, to call it a dream come true is, isn't even doing any justice because I never dreamt I'd be at this point. Um, I played the game, enjoyed the game, loved what I did. And to be here now, to, uh, the guys that I'm maybe put in that, uh, the Hall of Fame with, just uh, an amazing class. Jay Billis joins us now. Uh, Jay, when you think of Tim's career, what's the first thing that comes to mind for you? Just greatness in, in every way on both ends of the floor and, and as a teammate as well. And one of the things that I, I've always remembered uh, uh, was Greg Popovich saying that, that Tim Duncan allowed him to coach him. And so a, as a teammate, he was not only a, a superstar and the best player on the team, but arguably the best teammate as well. And one of the things, Tim, about your career is Reese went down some of the accolades, but one of the things that's always amazed me about so many amazing things about you is that you never skipped a step in your development. You stayed four years in college and, and you allowed yourself the opportunity to mature in every way. D do you think that was an important part in, in becoming a great player for you? It was a huge part for me. Um, I started basketball late and uh, I didn't play on the, the highest level to start. So the development at every stage was, was huge for me. Staying four years in college was huge for me. I had, had a great coach, I had a great team, uh, a great experience there, and uh, was, was happy to be there and learn through that process. Same thing with, with, uh, with, with the Spurs and, and every year I was there. I walked into a situation where um, I got to learn from some of the best. I got to learn from the Dave Robson, Sean Elliott's, the, the, the Avery Johnson's, the Benny Del Negro's. I, got, I had great teammates. I had an opportunity to, to, to grow um, while not being uh, counted on as much as a number one pick usually is. Um, so uh, I was blessed with every situation I was in, and I was happy to be there, and I, I, I took my time and enjoyed the journey. Tim, we were watching that video uh, just before you came on and joined us. One thing jumped out at me. It was a, a call from a game, and, and it was said that your greatness was underappreciated, or we didn't appreciate it. You're such a, such a great teammate and a class guy. Did you ever feel that way? Oh, never. Uh, no, no. I had a, 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 a great situation, a, a bunch of great teammates, and we had a, a singular goal. We, we wanted to be the best team we could be. And uh, whatever that meant, whoever that uh, uh, meant being uh, uh, 
the game winning shot, the, the, the man of the, of, of that game, that season, that series, whatever it may be. Um, we just wanted to win. And uh, with that singular goal, I, I never felt unappreciated. No. And nor should you have, and you certainly aren't today. Tim, congratulations on, on this great honor, and, and thank you for spending some time with us. Once upon a time, there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming the best possible basketball player that I could be. Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. Golden jersey, baby. Here we go, a lifetime dream finally been realized. And Kobe Bryant making his first appearance. Trevor, Trevor! How good is this kid? Oh, what a slam dunk! <laughs> Look out again! Nice dish by Kobe Bryant! To shoot on the Lakers on the 2000 NBA champion. We finally got a championship and it feels great. Back to back to back. Gotta love a three-piece. Three. Final three. seconds. Bryant for the win! want to make history, you have to do historic things. 81 point game. Back to back tables. Kobe left nothing in the tank. He left it all on the floor. The most important thing in life is how your career moves and touches those around you how it carries forward to the next generation. That's what makes true greatness. For this generation of players, Kobe Bryant was to them what Michael Jordan was to a previous generation. The, the Results are remarkable. 20 seasons all with the Lakers. You see the championships, the six career 60 point games, second most in NBA history. Nobody's ever capped their career with a 60 point game, but Kobe Bryant did. A little bit earlier today, we had the opportunity to talk with his wife, Vanessa. We are very pleased now to be joined by Kobe Bryant's wife, Vanessa, and his daughter, Natalia, who are gracious enough to spend some time with us this morning. Vanessa, what does Kobe's election into the Hall of Fame mean to you and your daughters? Um, it's an incredible um, accomplishment and honor, and we're extremely proud of him. Um, obviously, we wish that he was here with us um, to celebrate, um, but it's definitely the peak of his NBA career and, um, and every accomplishment that he had as an athlete was a stepping stone to be here. So, um, we're incredibly proud of him. And, um, there's some solace in knowing that he was probably going to be a part of the 2020 hall of fame class. Vanessa and Natalia, we continue to keep you in our thoughts and prayers, and we marvel at your strength. And congratulations on uh, Kobe's election into the Hall of Fame. Once upon a time, there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming the best possible basketball player that I could be. Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. Golden jersey, baby. Here we go, a lifetime of dream. Finally been realized. And Kobe Bryant making his first appearance. Trevor, Trevor! How good is this kid? Oh, what a slam dunk! <laughs> Look out again! Nice dish by Kobe! Bryant to shoot on the Lakers on the 2000 NBA champion. We finally got a championship and it feels great. Back to back to back. Gotta look. A three-piece. Three. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Want to make history, you have to do historic things. 81 point game. Back to back tables. Kobe left nothing in the tank. He left it all on the floor. The most important thing in life is how your career moves and touches those around you and how it carries forward to the next generation. That's what makes true greatness.
For this generation of players, Kobe Bryant was to them what Michael Jordan was to a previous generation. The, the results are remarkable. 20 seasons all with the Lakers. You see the championships, the six career 60-point games, second most in NBA history. Nobody's ever capped their career with a 60-point game, but Kobe Bryant did. A little bit earlier today, we had the opportunity to talk with his wife, Vanessa.